COVID has taught us that the digital infrastructure we have today has enabled us to have business continuity, continuity of relationships, communications, trade. We need to continue to invest in that infrastructure so that we can find new ways of doing things to new markets with, with uh, new opportunities. When people come out of university um, and have you know, got fresh skills, for about three to five years, they are at their most employable. Um, and then skills can naturally atrophy. Now, that's happening at exactly the same time that the need for skills refresh has never been greater. What we're finding is that if we can find a way to get people to be constantly refreshing their skills, they can be 23 again all the way through their lives. We need to encourage more students to choose technology subjects. We also need to encourage those people mid-career to look at technology as an opportunity. Given the growth of our industry and given the opportunities in it, and let's face it, digital skills are portable skills that you can take into any industry and any interest, and they're amongst the highest paying jobs in the country. That's why we need to encourage more people to pick up digital skills. Australia has huge opportunity over the next decade. We're seeing emerging technology in things, everything from space through to agriculture. We are reinventing our supply chains and we're really well regarded for our engineering, our software engineering, and also our traditional physical engineering skills that we, that we bring. And if we can act, if we can bring these pieces together, we can combine an innovative spirit with a solid technical know-how to be able to produce some really new things for the world.